When designing CAD models, one important thing to keep in mind is what software to use. Inventor and SolidWorks are two of the most popular options. They're alike in many ways, but they also have many important differences that may make one a better fit for you. How do you choose between them? In this video, I'll be walking you through the pros and cons of each to help you reach a decision. Just as a note, there are two variations of Inventor. Autodesk Inventor LT and Autodesk Inventor Professional. And there are three variations of SolidWorks. SolidWorks, SolidWorks Professional, and SolidWorks Premium. In this video, I will be comparing Autodesk Inventor Professional and SolidWorks Premium because they are the most similar of the various models. To start off, some things to take into consideration when making your decision are how much money you're willing to spend and what you're looking to get out of the software. Inventor and SolidWorks have slightly different payment plans. Inventor is a subscription-based program that you can use for a fixed term and then renew your re subscription at the end. Inventor offers monthly payments of $235, yearly payments of roughly $1,900, and payments of $5,670 every three years. With SolidWorks, you can buy a perpetual license for around $8,000, which allows you to pay once and use the program for a lifetime. However, with this plan, you don't get access to newer versions as they get released each year. The license is only for the edition that you purchased. If this price is too high, you can also opt for SolidWorks Standard or SolidWorks Professional, but these editions lack the same features and functionality. For instance, uh, they don't have nearly as many options for performing simulations and don't support electric harnessing. However, recently SolidWorks has begun a subscription-only offering, which lowers the software cost significantly. Both are solid choices for 3D modeling. They have very similar features in this regard, and ultimately it just comes down to personal preference and what features you need. With Inventor, you can utilize hybrid modeling, piece lines, mesh modeling, and design accelerators, which are features that SolidWorks doesn't have. Inventor also uses rules-based automation, which is convenient when creating 3D models of parts that share many of the same features with only subtle differences. This gives Inventor a slight edge in this category, but if you don't need to use these, it won't make much of a difference. While Inventor and SolidWorks share many of the same 3D modeling features, some may find that those in SolidWorks are more developed and user-friendly than those in Inventor. Again, it all comes down to personal preference. When it comes to simulations and modeling analysis, Inventor and SolidWorks are very evenly matched. For broad use, either software will work fine, but if you require certain features, one may be better equipped than the other. Inventor does not offer symmetry checks, geometry comparison, or closed pipe computational fluid dynamics, while SolidWorks does, but it doesn't offer a shape generator or injection mold analysis. It just depends on what features you need out of the software. In the end, these two industry-leading softwares are similar in most aspects. Autodesk Inventor is cheaper and has a wider range of available features. But for those who don't have a need for these additional features, they may want to opt for SolidWorks for its more convenient and developed features. For those that are on a budget, Inventor may be a more affordable option with essentially the same functionality. Thanks for listening, and I hope this helped you better understand your CAD software options.